So we're standing at the Waikara Mihi Landing Reserve, Māori Reserve, at high tide on the Punaruku Awa. So that's the way to the ocean. And we come up the bend and then that's the way to our Inanga spawning site upstream. Morning cows, standing by our hay bales we put in. Let's go for a closer look. And we're pretty sure this is the spawning area. The tide's just started going out. And you can see the current ripping out through the river. And on the side arms in the grass, there's a lot of commotion, a lot of wriggling and ripples. And we've seen a few inanga, but not many. But I think they might all still be in the grass, wriggling around. <laughs> So we looked over the river and saw the milk coming out from the grasses. So that's the spawning going on. Um, you can see a lot of movement as well. So we're just looking for some native vegetation that we can grow for our Inanga spawning site. And we've got some invasives here like the flame tree. But over here we have the giant umbrella sedge. So I think we should definitely grow some of that for our spawning site. And then looking around we've got Manuka. It doesn't mind a bit of wet feet. And the Mullumbekia growing over that. They're pretty good for this type of habitat too. What other locals can we find? Not much else really. We'll go for a little hunt and see if we can find some Caprosmas that would grow here. So, Nikki here from the White Bait Connection on the Punaruku Awa in Whangaruru, Northland. Um, mission complete, we've found the White Bait Inanga spawning site of the Punaruku Awa. This spot here known as Charlie's by the locals next to the Waikaramahi Landing Reserve. Um, over and out.